I mentioned how Key has been playing the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fighting game. Uh, Nico as well has been diving into other fighting games as well. He's looking to get into Grand Blue Fantasy. Mm -hmm. He's also looking to get into that JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fighting game. That also has a good gameplay scene. Definitely check it out, guys. If yeah. you guys can find it out for He's yourselves. been playing a lot of stuff on his stream. Oh, yeah. For sure. Definitely follow Nico on his stream for sure. He's definitely one to enjoy watching his conversations on show, but other games as well. But the game that matters here is him between him and Jump City. Let's see how things will go out here in winners' quarters. Best of three here for both of these players, as opposed to last MSM where they have to fight each other best of five. Yeah, exactly. And Jump City rocking the Palutena. I definitely see why uh, he uses this character. She's another great character. But Shulk Palu, I don't know. This is a matchup I don't see too often here. I've seen them play a couple times, and it, honestly, they're pretty back the back really close. Um, and we're getting Town and City, nice uh, lar Town and City here, excuse me. Large stage here, optimizing, uh, gonna probably utilize all those platforms that come and go, and um, I don't know, looks like it's pretty even right now. No one's really over committing to anything, kind of both throwing out like safe options. Right. And, and just to go a little, yeah, bit in, a little bit in the history of the both of these players, right? Jump study is Nico's only practice against Palatina. Nico has historically done really well at majors. For those of you guys wondering, like, how does Nico fare well against majors? The biggest problem that Nico usually runs into is to Team Japan. And the last time he fought Team Japan, it was against Abadango, who main Palutena. Mm, yeah, so yeah. Palutena is Nico's only source of, I'm sorry, Jump City is, is the only source for Nico's Palutena studies. So for him to fight uh, Jump City at this level, usually week to week, it's good for both players to understand the matchup perfectly. Yeah. Nice. That back air, they're on the cross Perry, yeah, and the back air there was just really clean coming out from Jump City. And yeah, this definitely doesn't seem like a, um, you know, like a bad matchup for Palutena. <laughs> just go, wow, we're gonna get that back throw with the smash. Not art. Super strong. Nice. I like the Ooh. fact that he even spaced himself getting away from the Nair and trying to avoid himself, but he only finds himself into Palutena's portal. I like the weight there, too. He just waited for him to cross in, and then he ended up just doing F-Tilt. Super, super patient. I like that. Using empty hop. Goes for the upper, sensing that Jump City wants to get away from that platform and come back center stage. Nico, very understanding of how uh, the fact that Jump City is not even going to go for the warp to try to come back on the stage. Nice. Shield dart to make sure he gets a little bit changes weight class. I like these short hops too. He's probably, you know, a lot of characters like to do those short hop, short hops into empty grabs, and uh, he's definitely mixing up his movement a lot. And it definitely uh, that mixes up your character Ooh. so much. Oh my god, almost killing with the back air there. Well, like and I 80%. love how you pay attention to that because Palutena is one of those characters that does win a hit fit from going for empty hops, going for full hops, going for mix-up with grab. Mm -hmm. So things Palutena does take advantage of. For Nico, he's really well aware of that. That's why he's usually switching with Monado oh. Arts. But unfortunately, on the getup, he will not have invincibility against that explosive lane. Yeah. Especially uh, changing Monados too, going into speed Monado. I think you have a little more uh, knockback with that on, I believe. But uh, bringing out the Buster Monado art, and this is double-edged sword, as we all know. Racks up more damage against your opponent, but if you get hit, also racks up more damage. And I like that he opts for uh, the shield Monado art as well, because that kind of breaks combos, and he does go for that a lot. But uh, Jump City, not at too bad of a deficit here. I definitely want to see how, how Jump City is going to start adapting to that shield Monado art switch from Nico. Now yeah. that both of each other kind of have each other's number here. Switching to Jump Art and able to survive the back air. I mean, you're going to take more damage in Jump Art. That's why Nico switches off the speed because he knows Jump City's been using that back air quite a few times, especially on cross up. Here's the Buster Art. Let's see what damage Nico can get here. That's good shield damage on Jump City here. Smash Art looking for a shield Ooh, poke or four. Scary here. situation though. Smash R is going to run out, and Jump City uses only Warp to make sure he gets back on the ledge. Yes, I like these uh, spacey, uh, spaced fares at the ledge there. Oh. Really nice. Utilizing that platform and my going man, deep. My man just climbed the stairway to heaven. <laughs> just he did, that actually. Man. Yeah, that was super aggressive, but uh, definitely Schultz can... I, I mean, I feel like Nico opts for that a lot, too. Fair off stage really safe and he definitely makes it back pretty consistently and easily so uh, definitely was worth a try and ends up taking the first game with that all right first game Nico's hands this is literally set point I mean that's why it's kind of interesting to see that both these players meet each other here and win his quarters rather than win his finals compared to last night I'm sorry mm -hmm. last week's because now this is only set point for Nico can jump steady find a game or is Nico gonna walk away winner's side this time around yeah, two of this also is a best of three as well, so we're not going to see the best of five. Buster Art. This might be really quick. Let's see. Okay, down throw, F tilt there. 
Nice. Good job for jumps in to get the parry here. He doesn't want to get shield damage. He's getting a lot of parries, actually. Consistently and it's in good both because of these games. it's good because Buster R does more damage to the shield as well, so it allows Luke mm. to go for that little bit of extra shield pressure. So for Jumpster to understand, I need to I need to make sure I parry so my shield doesn't take as much damage, so I can survive things like Nico's Nair approach. Ooh, Ooh okay, almost reading uh, that get up option there with up smash, doing it a little bit too early though, mistiming it, and now it's the reversal Op oh. opposite situation there, dying so early to the up air with the smash from that arc. Holy. Yeah, now he could just sit in a uh, shield art for quite a bit here and be yeah. pretty comfortable with the situation. And Sorry. That's what, no, you're good, you're good. And that's why we saw Jumpsy even go for the pummel there because he wanted to make sure he wanted to let Primer run out for yeah. shield art. That's also, yeah, really smart that you pointed that out as well. He's just going to want to stall it out or not have him stall it out forever. All right, nice. Nair out of shield there. That will take the stock. Miss space in neutral air, and that's all Jump City was able to get the punish here. This is literally Jump City's opportunity to start bringing things back 90% only to his name. I do like the fact that he's starting to go for a lot of these empty hops. He could be looking for a tomahawk grab or a backer approach, but Nico looking to make sure that he takes care of Jump City right before he gets anything started. Ooh. And that downer is not going to get the sweet spot. Man, yeah, Nico actually doing a really good job, though, getting these uh, edge guards and uh, giving Jump City a really hard time to just get back onto the stage here, and that is uh, really important. He's gotten most of his damage when his opponent's been off stage or oh. trying to just get up safely. Reversal situation now here. Let's see if Jump City can get a little bit more percent here. He needs to do something. Speed art. Oh, just throws out the f which is super laggy. I'm <laughs> surprised Nico didn't um, offer a punish there. A little like too that. late in the game, um, but here we go. Probably gonna up. see down throw back air. Nice. Good opportunity for Nico to go over for shield. He wasn't gonna be sent that far back in terms of not back from the back air. And that's gonna go for the forward and off the stage. It's gonna take care of Jump City stock. I do like the fact that Jump City is making these small adapta adaptations here to make sure that he's going for these empty hops. He's kind of moving in and out Shulk's range to make sure that if he does go for a grab or a tomahawk grab or even a back air or forward air, he's going to make sure he has Nico mixed up a little bit on the timing. Yeah, he almost even read that tech roll on the ledge there. Almost getting that back air, slightly misspaced it, not connecting. But here's another great opportunity. Going to get that back throw, not going to kill. Go off stage. I love yes. that Nair. He yep. goes for the Nair and he drifts himself back to the stage. Second attempt was not going to be the kill call here because the shield arts in play. Ooh, okay, that was an interesting option. Kind of throwing out Explosive Flame there, which also kind of has a lingering hitbox as well. So, surprised that actually didn't catch Nico or didn't drop Shield there. That's big damage here on Jump City. I want to see him try to come find a way to come back Ooh. to center stage. Smash R and then gets the parry. His opportunity to move in was only a dash tech away, but Nico makes sure he shields it in the air slash on the return. That's it. Nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was an attackable red... Uh, Q kind of uh, showed up there, and that was really nice recognizing. Getting that down smash there, so clean, but sitting at 101%. Good stuff from Jump City. I like that. He backed off. Sees yeah. the shield dart. Does mm -hmm. it continue the combo? Says, so fine. If you want to go back to it, I'm going to give myself some time until that runs out. Oh my god, that's getting really oh scary. No. no! The warp recovery, unfortunately. Just going to warp right in front of Nico there. Um, right into the arms of an angel. Yeah. 